Alrighty. Oh boy, what a day. Uh, took a nap. Nice and rested. Ready to go. Hmm, let's see. What else have we got around here? We got a water container. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, there's water in it. Not bad, just needs mode right here. Build looks good. Could use some wine, but it does look good. A little garden in the backyard. Nice little shade tree. And this is a pretty decent sized shed. I think we'll be able to fit all the stuff we need to keep out of the weather in there. Alright, first things first, I have been looking at the uh, newspaper this morning. And, uh,. Made a few phone calls. And, uh, well, what it comes down to is we're going to have to sell this truck. But, uh, we are going to sell the truck and get a few things. We're going to have to get a mower and a weed eater. And possibly. Some kind of shovel, maybe a wheelbarrow, something, something we can put grass clippings in. I don't quite know what yet. That part we'll have to figure out when we get to the store. Thinking about the store, hmm. That is just around the corner, ain't it? That's a good thing. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get this gate open and go see the shop. I'm about selling this truck. Okay, with this that run while we go ahead and close our gate. Nice little wooden bridge right there. a bit noisier around here. Alright, let's go ahead and park it up right about here. And, uh, I'm gonna go go. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to him and see if we can get a good price for it. It's been a nice little truck, but we need the money. See you in a minute. Okay, they gave me nineteen thousand five hundred and some odds for it. So not bad, but uh, that does leave us walking, don't it? Oh crap! Probably should have went and bought the other before I sold that one. Wait a minute, I couldn't have, I didn't have the money. Oh. Uh, well, here we go for that nice little walk.
And we should see, we go through the junction and we should see. Literally. Okay, so that's where we're going to get our mower. He's got used ones. And this is where we're going to look at a piece of a really nice piece of equipment. I wonder if he'd get mad at me if I just walked through here. Now we'll find out. Okay. Let's see if I can find them. I think this is the front door over here. I'm going to go give it a knock. See what happens. Alright. Okay. Well, it's in the barn here. We're supposed to go take a look at it and then come back and let him know what we think. Uh, the part's a bit dirty, but other than that, it don't look bad from the outside. He said I could open it up, take a look on the inside, and even start it up if I want. So, take a look. He says it also has the options to have three-point hookups put on the front and back. Um, there's a weight you can get to put on it. You can change the size of the bed on them. There's a whole bunch of possibilities, he says. And he's not wanting a whole lot for it. He's only wanting 12000 I gotta say, it's used, and he says it's been used pretty good. And he's missing a few things. He doesn't have the weight no more that he did have for it. It, He says it was here one day and gone the next. He doesn't know what happened to it. He thinks his son may have uh, sold it. So, I think it's worth the 12000 And we won't have to walk. But the idea of being able to put three-point uh, hookups on it, three-point hinge, in the front and back, that is, that is nice. I like that idea. All right, well, looks like we're going to go ahead and purchase it. So, give me just a minute. We'll go pay him the 12000 for it and uh, do the paperwork. I'll be right back out. Alrighty. We are now the new proud owners of a Unimog. Awesome. Okay, now we gotta come over here and let's take a look at what we got here. Well, I guess as far as weed eater goes, uh, unless he's got more inside, that looks to be the only option we have. Let's see here. Profi hopper. Hmm. Very dirty profi hopper. Looks like he may have just got that one in. Of course, they all look a little dirty to me. Zero turn, huh? Let's see here. What else has he got? Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I see a John Deere. I see a John Deere. Hmm. That is a very, uh, 
Nice looking John Deere. And he's got a couple of them here that look nice too. So, kind of hard to say. Hmm. Got to think about this one for a minute. All right, let's quit putting this off and go talk to him and uh, see which ones. I don't see any baggers on him, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have them somewhere else. He may even have them in the back. So, uh, let's go see which ones have baggers and go from there. Because really want one with a bagger. And I wouldn't mind one that's you know, able to go into tight areas. That kind of makes me not want these two. That's kind of big, and so is that one, really. Really, this John Deere would be the perfect size. Not too big. Hmm. Let's go give him... Let's go talk to him and see what happens. Okay, so this John Deere, he says, uh, go ahead and try it. Let's see what I think about it. Sit on it. Take a look at it. He says he does have the bagger for it. Don't sound too bad. Doesn't have much gas in it. Alright, well. Looks like this is the one. He wants $3,000 for it. It's normally five. I'm going to see if I can get... Get him to come down to, well, I'd say, 22. I'm off from 22 for it. Let's see what he says. And the weed eater, he only wants 60 bucks for it. Normally it's 80. And it needs to be cleaned up, you know, serviced. Other than that, he says it runs fine. So, I'll take his word for it. Lawnmower seem to do pretty good. Let's go see him. Alrighty, so, we made the deal. $2,200. Uh, and then the 60 for this. No questions asked. I just told him straight up 60. No problem. <coughs> Pardon me, folks. Okay, why am I not getting it up and... What's that about? I hope that's actually holding. Um. Hmm. I don't know how that works, but I guess it's supposed to. Yeah, there's just no way. I don't think I'm... No. Uh -uh. You know what? I don't think I have fallen yet. Oh. How terrible am I? I don't have fallen me on. Oh, lovely. Um... All right, well, let's try this again. There we go, what the heck? I 
You coming? I'm worried about that friggin' weed eater falling off. <laughs> just see it off in the distance and with this going on to the, to the side of us it just looks funny now I'm curious how's it going to fare through the water stay on the road Here it comes. I'll be. It ran right through the water with no problem. Made the turn with no problem too. Alright, go ahead and take this stuff back to the the farm uh well farm house. Lisa the Sand Farm. Okay, did we lose it? Did we lose her? Come on. I don't know. I think we might have lost her. But where? I didn't see it come up saying that we lost her. You know what? I don't think we did. He's just not coming around the corner. That lady's got some determination. That'd be the wife, by the way. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the farm, her house. And, uh... Wait for her to get there, because, uh, she's definitely got some... Follower stopped. Son of a gun. Must have got a flat tire. How far back is she? I do think it might be better to just turn around. Okay, instead of making the turn, she went straight. That's why she stopped. She's standing there smoking a cigarette. Not really. Just kidding. Alright, let's see if we can get it back on task. She's back my old way.
And I'll take it from here. Okay. Well. We managed to get all of it back here. And, uh, gotta say, this, uh, Unimog is... Uh, you're not gonna let me grab you? Hmm. Hello? I'm standing here. Okay. Okay, there you go. Not what I wanted. Grab the flipping cutter. Maybe. Why am I not remembering the buttons to do this? Come on. Thank you. Yes, that's what I thought. Let's get it back out of the tree again. Eh, that'll work. Alright, so... Take this and put it in the shed. Okay, so we can do an inspection on here now. Everything's looking alright. It doesn't need to be cleaned and maintenanced, but other than that, it does look alright. Oh, wow. So now we need to go to the shop and get the rest of the stuff.
That was a good little running truck. Alright, well, I'm gonna go see about getting a, what was it, a shovel and some kind of bend to put the grass and stuff in. Alright, so we're able to get the stuff out back. It's all been purchased. We're down to 7,658. Oh. And I hope this will hook up to that. Alright. Uh oh. It won't go inside. That kind of sucks. Would you not do that? I'm oh, done. Okay. You know, the door is right there. I could easily make a path right here. I wonder if the store would notice. Alright, so we managed to get a small trailer, and I mean small. Get out of here, birds. Go on, see that. I 
let's stick this right here. That one's still. Yeah, there's something not right with that one. See, it goes away when you do it that way. Alright, so for the time being, we're going to go ahead and stick this in here. Yes, we'll stick it upside down. No, because we may need to put something in it. Let's take care of 